video was a sad reminder of the harshness and the cruelty that remains all too prevalent in many parts of this country. Youth violence is not a Chicago problem any more than it is a black problem, a white problem, or a Hispanic problem. It is something that affects communities big and small and people of all races and all colors. It is an American problem. It was a call to address youth violence in Chicago at their video surface showing the fatal beating of a Finger High School student, Darian Albert. Attorney General Eric Holder and Education Secretary Arnie Duncan met with local leaders at City Hall. They called for a national conference on ways to address this reoccurring problem in the city. We must engage directly with our children starting at the youngest age. We must engage with them at every stage of their lives and teach them that violence doesn't solve anything and that respect for others is the foundation for a safe and healthy society. Duncan says the U.S. Department of Education is to provide $500,000 in grant money to help the Finger community while admitting that money was not, not the answer. Money. money alone will never solve this problem. It's much deeper than that. It's about values and it's about who we are as a society. And it's about taking responsibility for our young people to teach them what they need to know to live side by side and deal with their differences without anger and without violence. Duncan and Holder says they met with Finger students and parents privately for an hour in a disclosed location. Some people like Reverend Jesse Jackson says the press conference was too exclusive and should have been held at the school. To bring the children's security, the first thing we need is a commitment to safe passage. Not just more talk, but a commitment to safe passage too school, at school, and from school. It's a state of emergency. 400 children shot, 400 killed. It's an emergency. These are Baghdad numbers. The money from the Department of Education that is headed to Finger's Way is an emergency grant in hopes of stabilizing the Finger community. They can choose the, the money, to use the money as they best see fit. And Principal Liz Dozier is doing an extraordinary job there, whether it's for counselors or for extended day programs or to help build mentoring programs. This money is not just for Fanger, but for schools that feed into Fanger as well. Reporting for the Columbia Chronicle, I'm Christina Aguirre.